Welcome to Casa Mel, home of the greatest diving in the world and the Ramon Zapata Dive Club. After meeting the owner, I suited up and headed for the boat. I met Captain Santiago and Dive Master Abraham. Our first dive takes us to the Santa Rosa Caves. Look, there's Dory. Before we entered the caves, Abraham pointed out something very cool. Dude, crush. Our visit was over. It was time to enter the caves. The first cave was easy. Wide enough so you could avoid banging your tank into the precious coral. But just in case, Abraham kept a watchful eye. The second cave was narrow and more challenging. Before the third cave, we toured the Santa Rosa Wall. 6,000 feet straight down and 107 feet straight up. All sorts of amazing creatures live here, including the largest lobster I've ever seen. Its antenna was as long as my three-foot tripod. The third cave I like to call El Diablo. Not because it's deep and narrow, but because if you look up, you see this. I was glad to get out of there. As we left, the cave leaked the air we left behind in a sort of a bubble volcano. And then I remembered something. I was out of air. Completely. I had to use Abraham's spare. We flagged down Santiago for our required surface interval. It's the time between dives required to get the nitrogen in our bodies back to normal. So we beached, and we waited. Let's get dirty. Get to lick it. A map painted on the club wall shows where we've been. And where we're going. Our second dive was to the Santa Rosa Reef. A shallower dive, but the creatures there were just as interesting. A barracuda showed up. And then there were two. And then, they were big. Which made me a little paranoid. I didn't run out of air this time, though my heart was beating a little faster. Soft and bouncy hair. 
Homeward Bound. I was glad to get all that heavy equipment off. It was time to wash up and hang dry. I gave a little thanks to King Neptune. Time to head back to the hotel. Except they didn't have a car. So Captain Santiago became Easy Rider.